Hey, it's Lauren at Radio World. I want to talk to you guys today about Raymarine's new product, the Axiom unit. I've been working in the marine electronics industry for about 15 years, and I've never seen a unit so anticipated as this one. There's a lot of hype about this product, and best of all, it's living up to that hype. So let's take a closer look at the Raymarine Axiom units. So the first feature of the Axioms I want to show you is the multiple users. You can click up here, and then we can show the two different users, that profiles that we've set up here. Since we're just demoing it, I'm going to go to the demo and I'm going to show you the freshwater fishing features on this unit. Bring you back to the home screen and it'll change around a few of the screens that you're going to have on there. So speaking of screens, I'm going to show you how to create a new one. You basically you're going to have eight panels per page here. So on this one I'm missing four panels. All I do is I long press, then I can come up here and decide how, how many panels I want to have. So I'm going to do a three panel split and we're going to do chart, we're going to do a fish finder and a second fish finder. Now there's no point in having two fish finders there, but we'll hit next. We'll just allow the default name to go. And now what we can do is because we have two fish finders go into it and then configure which channels we're going to see. So on my top one up here, I'm going to select my traditional sonar and chirp sonar. And then down here to take full advantage of the width of the screen, I'm going to select my side imaging panel. So as you see, creating a page is extremely easy on these units and also is adjusting the settings on it. Right now, the orange box indicates my side vision is the active window. If I want to adjust settings on my chirp sonar, I can do that. It gives me this menu right here. And the nice thing too, it'll go to full screen when we're adjusting settings. So I can turn the auto gain off and then adjust it however I see fit. If you, you don't like how you've adjusted things and you kind of get lost, there's an all to auto button that'll bring everything right back to where the unit sees fit. We just tap the screen again and go back to our split. The other thing I really like about these units is not having to leave the screen you're on to change what sonar we're looking at here. If we want to change from chirp sonar to down, down uh, vision, we just go into the menu and now we've got our down vision in that window. So we actually don't have to go back to our home screen to go and select a different fish finder. It's all right on that one screen. Okay, so since we landed on this real vision screen, we'll talk about this for a second. This is a 3D view of everything you've passed over in imaging sonar quality detail behind your boat. You can set it up to look at a top-down view like this, or we can put any perspective on it we want. So this is where our boat is. We have these range numbers out 150 feet. E either side of the boat is the, the coverage we're getting, so 300 foot total. And then we have our, our depth number here. So we're in about uh, 50 feet on this side, but right under the boat, we're in about 70 feet, as indicated by the depth there. So this is a really cool feature to see bottom structure. You can also turn it around like this if you're trolling. You can kind of get an idea where fish are in relation to your boat. On this real vision screen is where you really notice the quad core processor in this unit. It's extremely fast. There's no delay whatsoever in manipulating this screen around. And if you get stuck where you kind of lose where you are, you have all these preset buttons here. So it's really simple to use. You can zoom out to see more of what's behind you. And just like in our other sonars, we can adjust the, the main settings right here. Or if we want to adjust something more like a color, we can go into our menu, go to our settings, and then uh, all the Raymarine Axiom uh, menus are set up like this where we can change information down here and then go further in under these tabs and get more info on those. You know, so for instance, if we want to change the bottom color, we can do that. We can change it to the cool blue. And uh, before I exit back out, actually, it gives you a preview of what you're going to see while you're in the menu. So you can make all your changes and still get a preview um, of, of what it's going to look like, but also monitor the, the sonar so you're not missing anything while you're making changes. Okay, so we'll go back to our home screen here and take a look at the chart. So what you'll notice is on the front of these units, they're really clean. There's no keys and there's also no chart card slot. That's actually located in the rear of the unit under a waterproof door. Okay, so now on the chart screen here, just want to show you a few options you have in the menu. If we go down to our uh, gear icon here and uh, go to view in motion. And again, just like in our, our sonar screen, we have a preview of what's going on. So I want to change the location to either a partial offset. So now that moves our boat down or we can do a full offset, which will move it even further down to show us all kinds of information in front of us to give it a really good idea of where we're heading. That's one thing I really like. And then I also like putting heading up so it keeps track of uh, the actual 
direction our boat's facing rather than right. north. So now we're at the bottom of the screen here and uh, we can see everything around us um, in front of where we would be traveling. Okay, and if you want to build a route on these, I'm going to just show you how easy it is. All it is is tapping the screen, it brings up this icon, build route, and then now we can basically just go along, place our waypoints to get us safely around the shoals and the islands to wherever it is we want to go. So just like that, we've got our route built. We need to go finish build route, and then you can go to follow. If you have an autopilot on board, it'll take you uh, there automatically. Otherwise, you can just start to connect the dots. And if you noticed, as soon as we did that, it pulled out this data menu, which will give us your track, your bearing, your speed. Um, and you can set up these to whatever you would like them to be. Um, I believe just by pressing and holding, going to edit, and then you can change to whatever data you'd like to have in there. If you want to get rid of this, you can just swipe it away or swipe it back. So the Axiom is available in a 7-inch unit, a 9-inch unit, and finally a 12-inch unit. You can buy each size of the Raymarine Axiom units as a GPS only or GPS and chirp sonar with down vision or GPS chirp sonar with down vision, side vision, and real vision 3D sonar. All Axiom units from Radio World come with a Navionics Plus chart card that'll cover North America. So those are just a few of the things on the Raymarine Axiom units. There's a whole lot more that they can do. Visit our website at radioworld.ca for more information. The link's in the description. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to our channel as well for the latest updates from Radio World. Are we done? We're rolling. <laughs>